Born in London of Bangladeshi origin, Ruha Halal is a young graduate in illustration and graphic design from Central St. Martin's School of Art. He works in a variety of mediums, including illustration, film, audio, interactivity and photography. A prominent artist in the British Muslim community, he is considered by some as one of the rising stars that have helped shape the development of contemporary Islamic art in the UK. I've always done art um, since I was young. Uh, my parents particularly uh, recognised that I did so and they, they, they really did encourage me uh, throughout school and college. Um, I finally did study um, at college fine art and, and design and then um, eventually at Central St Martins I, I did a course in illustration and graphic design. Um, that's where I graduated from. Um, and so I've always been extensively you know, um, interested in art, uh, both traditional and contemporary particularly. Inspired by traditional calligraphy, the artist's work involves the use of his own Arab scripts with a contemporary graphic design influence. As a result, the artwork isn't simply a visual piece, but is also a piece of literature. I would describe my work as um, a contemporary approach to traditional uh, calligraphic art, um, or rather a traditional visual Islamic art. Um, and to, to not necessarily just make something that contemporary, but rather um, develop and, 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 and make something of my own um, and put something new um, into, into the mix of, of what, what's perceived as traditional or Islamic art. The work is often displayed as oil acrylic paintings, art prints, screen prints and projections. Inspiration is drawn from the religious, cultural and spiritual literature and poetry of the Islamic world. My studies in graphic design, particularly um, typography, uh, even, even modern art in, in, uh, predominantly, a lot of print-based work naturally. Um, uh, both Western and Eastern artists, both traditional and contemporary work, a uh, vast range of influences uh, from different countries and cultures. You know, I'm, I'm, a fascin I'm fascinated by Japanese calligraphy, for example, as well as Arabic calligraphy and even Latin Western calligraphy. Um, so I've got a wide range of, uh, you know, influences, definitely. Rue's current project goes under the title of Visual Dika, or Visual Remembrance. It's a movement that aims to help create a revival of Islamic art in contemporary fashion. Visual Dika was a project, or is a project that I've started uh, since 2003. It's predominantly my work in concentrating on Islamic art and, and visual Islamic art particularly with the usage of Arabic words and, and, and Islamic literature um, through calligraphy um, and non-calligraphy as well, uh, motion graphics, video art installations, um, both print work and, and, and obviously um, digital work. The artist studio is based in an historic building on the Mile End Road in London's East End. Currently under renovation, it's a unique project designed to give a large number of artists space and inspiration to develop their ideas. The building is a, is, is a, a, a big experimental space that's, that's being developed where um, on this floor particularly a wide range of different artists locally uh, from, from this locality. Um, and I've, I've had the you know, opportunity to be able to have my own space here and, and grow visual dicker um, and experiment and, and try new things out. And obviously work with other artists who are here and, and try and develop you know, a collaborative work. Ru Al Alam describes some of his most recent works. This one says Iqra. In Arabic that means read and it's a command. And it's the first ever uh, word in, in, the, in the Quran, the Holy Quran. And what Iqra signifies is, is asking man read, right? So that you may gain knowledge, so you may understand, and so you realize that there is a God and so forth. Ru recently took part in Islam Expo, a celebration of Islamic culture, traditions, art, food and dance held in London. It proved to be an important showcase for his work. 
Islam Expo um, housed a vast range of uh, different uh, exhibits, one of them being um, British Islamic art or British Muslim artists showcasing their work. And this was a great opportunity for me. Uh, you know, I was invited to come in to, to showcase my work, uh, specifically for I've been doing specifically this range of work, uh, end up being strictly British, uh, but yet having a foundation in, in Islamic art and developing something very Western um, um, and, and, and exclusively Western. Rue has exhibited in numerous places, both in the UK and abroad. His work is gaining growing recognition in the British Muslim community. I've bought some of uh, Rue's uh, calligraphy um, and it sits in our house at the moment on the wall. It's beautiful. Um, it's very vibrant um, and I think it's very modern right now. It speaks, it's very contemporary um, and original and unique. Uh, I don't think there's anything out there like it. And, um, I think he is doing a great job of spreading a positive message about perhaps either Arabic or Islam. I don't think you have to be a Muslim to wear his clothes. I think the message is universal and, and global, basically. And yeah, I think his work's excellent, and uh, I hope and wish him all the success. Rue has expanded his work with many of his artistic designs now being incorporated into fashion wear. His elegant calligraphy is proving to be very popular on T-shirts. Under Vijayadika we developed uh, a, new, a new range of clothing, uh, starting off with T-shirts and hoodies, a lot of street clothing um, kind of fused with um, Islamic art and motifs. Um, and, and calligraphy. So just trying to bring something, something very, very trendy and, and fashionable but with clearly a message that is you know Islamic but not necessarily uh, you know restricted to the Muslim community and it's been popular with both Muslims and non-Muslims um, as, as an artistic thing and as a religious thing. Under the visual Dhika title he's been working with the fashion label the Islamic Design House which is also based in East London. It aims to link East and West through its fashion brands and as a result Rue's designs can now be found on clothing, art, prints, accessories and home decor. Modern, very contemporary. Islamic Design House as a company is set out with a clear vision to cater for second, third generation Muslims in the UK and in the West generally. Uh, the reason for that is we because I'm part of that uh, uh, and many other people share that same identity and this identity is a unique identity because we uh, are Eastern in terms of our faith, in terms of our value system, our belief system at the same time we've grown up in the West with uh, our be it the language, be it, uh, in terms of the fashion, in terms of sports, in terms of uh, culture. So we share something which is very uh, distinct, which is we share our Eastern tradition and our Western uh, uh, Britishness. When Islamic Design House set out, we thought, okay, who are the uh, British Muslims who are, one, they're talented, at the same time they share and they're trying to move forward in pushing uh, this uh, special identity that we, we share. And we found uh, uh, Ruhu Alam from Vijadik by far to be one of the uh, prominent uh, artists to be actually uh, commentating upon the time and the special identity that we uh, share. The Islamic Design House approached Rue to work with them after they realized he shared their vision with regards to a fusion of Western and Islamic creativity. The artist himself sees his work as being very representative of contemporary multicultural Britain. The work represents uh, young British Muslim artists and, 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 and design, uh, well, not necessarily artists, but um, represents young mu Muslims in the UK uh, being brought up in the West um, and they feel that they've got an identity that is rooted in the West um, as much as it is uh, through their uh, newfound identity of faith. And, and, and that go it goes beyond that. It goes beyond just the Muslim community and, and, and it reaches out to uh, both non-Muslims and other, other, of other faiths and, and races as well. The messages in Rue's work combine the concepts of unity, peace and love, a tradition that is deeply rooted in Islamic literature and thought. The artist hopes that his work encourages people to think about their own lives and then be inspired to find new ways of self-expression.